Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today it's like a combination video. I have some new makeup I want to play with. I'm just going to chat. I have a couple questions you guys asked. So we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff in this video. And if that's something you want to watch, then keep on watching. Let's go. Did you hear that? That was perfect timing. My smoke detector, right as I started filming, decided to beep. So you might hear some beeps during the video because I'm not changing the batteries until I'm done filming. So prepare for the beeps. First product I got is this. <laughs> this is a free sample I got from Ulta. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Pour and Prime Balm. It doesn't really smell anything, but it's literally like, it almost feels like a lip balm, but I guess you just do this. I mean, it's nice because it's like lightweight, it's not like a silicone-y kind of feeling. It just kind of feels, huh, kind of like that. I've never really tried anything like this before. Interesting. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to mix two. I'm going to mix the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear with the Pro Glow. It's been a combination I've been enjoying lately. So today I'm wearing my but first Hocus Pocus, oh, my name is Phil, shirt. There is a community day in our town today. And I'm hoping that it's a very fall themed community day. I don't really know what it is since we've never lived here in the fall. So since we're just going to like an outside little community thing today, I'm not gonna get too glam, but I'm already filming. So we're doing something today for, for this hoopla. I'm going to probably bring my camera and try to vlog. I don't. I don't really know what the plan is. So I like this combination because the Pro Glow has the glow, but I feel like the Freshwear has the longevity. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Let's answer some questions. I'm going to start with my community tab on YouTube. When did you fall in love with makeup? I'm gonna mix the Flower Beauty and the Conceal and Hydrate. So that's a hard one to answer. I can't really name a time and place for that. Only because like, I don't remember not owning makeup. Like even when I was like a little kid, I had so much makeup. It was mainly like little kid makeup, but I always had so much makeup and I would just douse my face in it. Like completely like just cover my face in whatever I could. So I've always had a lot of makeup. And like when I was a kid, like one of the things I used to do with my friends is makeovers like that's all we would do is just cover each other's face with makeup it definitely started when i was a child i would say that i wasn't this like into i wouldn't say i got into like this side of makeup where it's not so much so like in high school and college though i always had makeup i always wore makeup but i wasn't so much into trying new makeup and all this stuff and i didn't get into that too much until my later 20s so I was a late bloomer when it comes to that but I've always had makeup I've always worn a lot of makeup especially since I was a dancer growing up like I had to wear a lot of stage makeup throughout my life okay now I'm gonna powder with the cover effects perfect setting powder and the next question says how did how was Scott when you told him that's what you wanted to do so this channel did not start off as a makeup channel at all my channel was all hauls and unboxings when I first started. I did not intend to have this be a makeup channel, but that's just kind of where it went. It's not even so much a makeup channel. It's that I realized how much fun I started having playing with makeup on this channel. When I made my channel, it was always things by the burp because I didn't want to just be categorized into one group of videos, which if I had named my channel, it would have been all box unboxings and hauls kind of a name, which would have, you know, not been where we are today. I mean, I still do hauls and I still do do unboxings, but I like to do other things. I do like to do makeup videos. I do like to do tags. I do like to do vlogs. Like I never wanted to be cornered into a certain genre of channel, but Scott had a YouTube channel before I ever had a YouTube channel. He helped me with filming my first ever YouTube video, so. Yes, he has always been supportive in that matter. What is your favorite makeup brand and favorite product? Hmm, this is hard. 
I'm also going to use the Maybelline Superstay. You know, usually when people would ask me like, what is your number one brand? I always would say ColourPop because the quality is really good for the brand, for the price range. It's, you know, and it's a brand that people can afford, but they also have really high quality. Whereas other brands who have a lower price point tend to not always have quality products in all of their products that I find the ColourPop has. But I also feel like ColourPop is kind of getting a little out of control with their launches. And like, it's annoying because their launches always look so good and so beautiful. And like, you know, like that's definitely gonna be a good product because it's ColourPop, but it's like, I don't like that concept of them trying to be like fast fashion in the makeup industry. Like that just kind of rubs me the wrong way. And I mean, there are tons of brands that have their things that rub me the wrong way, but it's not like I've canceled them, but I wish ColourPop would just slow the launches down a little. Like even their, their tinted moisturizer or whatever coming out now, like that just seems like it would have been a summer launch but I feel like I don't know why they didn't and they like waited till fall. I, I don't know. Their choices make me wonder what the heck is going on there, but their quality is really good and affordable. So I think I'm gonna say that. As far as favorite makeup product, hmm, I really wanna say that this is a boring answer, but I feel like foundation. I feel like the right foundation can really affect your entire look. Like if you have a bad foundation and everything else looks good, like it's hard to ignore that. But if your foundation looks really good, like if your eyes shadow isn't blended perfectly, like no one can really tell. I feel like the foundation is like the foundation of everything, if you know what I'm saying. We have another new product to try. I bought this recently from Ulta. This is the NYX Fill and Fluff Brow Pencil. And I bought this because it has the same kind of brush thing as the new Rihanna one. And I didn't want to buy the Rihanna one because <laughs> it's kind of expensive and I haven't heard like raving reviews on it but I still wanted to try that kind of a brush so it literally looks like a little like toothbrush hairbrush I don't know and it has like a triangular point what shade did I buy I bought this in the shade ash brown so let's try it Ooh, this is better than a spoolie all right I don't tend to love this shaped brow products so let's see Not bad. Okay, let me keep looking at questions. Who are your top five favorite YouTubers? Okay. <laughs> I can talk about YouTubers I really like watching, but I don't think I could do a top five. So let me actually look at my subscriptions. So I watch Samantha March all the time. I think she's awesome. I really started, I'll link all these channels below too. I've really started to get into Bailey Sarian's channel. She does like, I think it's called Murder, Makeup and Mystery Mondays, where she talks about a true crime story while she does her makeup every Monday. Oh, talk about a series, a series that was made for me. Big fan of that. And she does such a good job at the way she tells the stories. It's very impressive. I really like Smoky Glow. I think she is a very intuitive person in the industry. She's going to school currently to become a social worker. And I really like hearing her take on a lot of things. I think she's a really good advocate for children on YouTube. So I'll be interested to see what she does with her life. I enjoy her. I love Jessica Braun's channel. She just, Everything Jessica does, I feel like, is very aesthetically pleasing. Oh, really liked this brow pencil. Excellent. Excellent for pencil. Highly recommend. And I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me brow setter. I love Samantha Ravindahl. She just makes me laugh. She's very talented, but she's also like super sarcastic and, you know, it's makeup, it's not serious, so I appreciate that. I love the Taylor's channel. Every Friday, she reviews a new foundation. She was somebody who, who went on Accutane to help get rid of her acne, and she, you can follow that journey. She once a year does a 15 days of foundation where she raises all this money to go towards Project Beauty Share. It's, she does a lot of good with her channel, and I appreciate that. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics bronzer here. I really like Kelly Gooch's channel. I feel like she puts out really good content. 
I like to watch Lauren Della Fera. I found her channel through Samantha March because every month Samantha kind of shouts out a creator on the platform. For workouts, I love Mad Fit's channel. I used to do a couple of her workouts every week. It's just, there's so many people in the YouTube space. I could sit here forever and go through them all. So maybe that's a different video for another day. But that was definitely more than five people. And that was just me like really quickly looking through my subscriptions. Next question. What is your and Scott's favorite thing to do together? Hmm. I mean, we always took off of work and would see all the Marvel movies when they first came out. Now we just, it's literally just watching Netflix, like hanging out and watching Netflix. Like that's kind of one of my favorite things we do. It's just really chill. <laughs> nothing like special, nothing fancy. We've been, since the gym downstairs got all set up, we've been doing like, we've been lifting every day together. <laughs> Not something that comes naturally to me, but I'm learning. <laughs> Does Scott get annoyed with all the time you put into the channel? He only gets annoyed if it affects something like important, but for the most part, like nine times out of 10, he doesn't really care. But if it's like affecting something that needs to get done, yeah, he gets annoyed, but I would say nine times out of 10, he does not care at all. What is your favorite candy? What a fantastic question. I'm actually gonna throw a little bit of this into my crease too. Hands down, it's Reese's. I mean, we can't keep Reese's in this house. It's a dangerous food and it must be kept away from me. It's as simple as that. I'm going to use this eyeliner. I've had this sitting around to try forever and I don't know why. It's the Urban Decay 24 seven in Voodoo. It's like a purple shade. I thought it would go well with like our Halloween-y vibe we got going on today. Very purple. Do you and Scott plan on getting married slash having kids in the future? Honestly, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Scott and I <laughs> have kids before we get married. I am like somebody who doesn't like to be conventional, so I wouldn't be surprised if it goes in that order. I'm going to try this NARS eyeshadow duo that I found at Marshalls. I've never tried any eyeshadows from NARS. This is a duo called Surabaya, but I definitely picked it because it was two, what I call, safe shades, so. I don't know if I should use a brush or my fingers. If you could erase one makeup brand from the world, like it never existed, what brand would it be? Hmm. This is an insightful question. Give me a second. Okay. I don't actually remember the exact name of the brand, but I just, it, I think I was, it was like an ad on Instagram I saw like last week. Yeah, I think there was this ad I saw on Instagram last week. It was for eyelashes. And their whole thing was like, they did this fire test comparing mink lashes to silk lashes and how you can tell the difference by if you light them on fire, the silk lashes burn up and the mink lashes don't. And I'm just like, you just, like it, it really rubbed me the wrong way. First of all, like, I think mink lashes are like absolutely disgusting and the worst. But not only are you not respecting the fact that like an animal was killed to make those lashes, but you just lit them on fire so they're just trash. Oh, that really rubbed me the wrong way. I don't remember the lash brand, but I am not into the mink lash thing. Like that just, mm -mm. nope, no sir. If you could Thanos snap and remove one makeup trend from the world, what would it be? <laughs> I, ugh. it's like a lot of the Instagram stuff. I, I don't want to like come at Instagram, but like a lot of the stuff, it's just like, I feel like you know what I mean. I don't wanna like be mean. I'm just trying to think like a lot of the the stuff that's like clickbaity. I hate like clickbait makeup. I think that's what I hate. Makeup that is clickbait. Like I don't really do clickbait. <laughs> I don't like clickbait, like, clickbait makeup. That's what we'll call it. Okay, this is like a, if you could only have one of these for the rest of your life, this is rude. Okay, there's three of them. The first one is the Too Faced, Chocolate gold or the Too Faced Ginger Red. I'm gonna try this shade here. I don't know if they have shade names. This one is easy. It's the chocolate gold. I think the quality of that one's better than the gingerbread one. I also find it very rude. Oh wow, I didn't even need to use my finger. I also think it's really rude that they came out with an extra spicy gingerbread palette that isn't spicy. It's, I think it's more muted than the original. So that's how I feel about that. Let's see, what's our next one? 
Roller Lash or Catrice Dewey Setting Spray? Hmm. You know what? If it had been like a few months ago, I would have said Roller Lash. But I think the Thrive Mascara might give Roller Lash a run for its money. So I'm going to say we can get rid of Roller Lash and keep the Catrice Dewey Spray because that's not going anywhere. And then ABH Brow Gel or Ofra Highlighters. Ooh. I know this is gonna be, this is gonna sound dramatic, but I think I'm gonna keep my ABH brow gel because I haven't ever found a good dupe for it, but I feel like there's enough highlighters in the world that I could get on without the Ofra. All right, I'm not gonna do the inner corner yet because I'm gonna wait till we get to the highlighter, but so far, impressed. Really like it. Okay, I have like a little tiny baby blush here to try. It's from the Alternative Rock Volume 2 palette from the balm and it's a blush called Bare Minimum. I'm pretty sure my mom got this in like maybe an Ipsy and then gave it to me. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Oh gosh, that looks very pigmented. Gonna tap some of that off. Ooh, I like that. It's like, um, it's very like rosy toned blush, which I feel like is really nice for the fall. I don't know if there's ever been like a powder product from the balm that I haven't enjoyed, so. There you go. Now I'm very excited. Oh, also, side note, this Japanesque brush, I just found another one at Marshalls. I'm so excited. This is the 961 blush brush. It's my favorite blush brush. <laughs> I found a new one as a backup at Marshalls. Now I'm gonna try this. Is this the only makeup product Glam Glow has? Oh, it's their highlighter glow powder. Ooh, there's a sticker on the mirror. Ready? So satisfying. So I'm probably gonna go in with this one, which says hello on it. Let's see what we can do. Because who doesn't wanna glow at community day? And then I think I'm gonna try the center shade on the eye. Should I use it? I should probably just use my finger. Oh God, that is intense but I like it. I probably definitely 100% overpaid for this palette. Okay, gonna throw on some all nighter. Least favorite makeup item you've ever used. Let me think about that while I try a new mascara. This is from Clinique and it's their high impact mascara. I feel like I've heard really good things about this mascara. It's just like a pretty basic wand. Speaking of wands, Wands for Wildleaf is accepting cleaned mascara wands this month. I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's anything overly impressive. Yeah, I would just give it an okay rating. Mm -hmm. Forgot to think about worst makeup product I've ever tried. Hmm. I mean, the most recent thing I can really think of are those eyeshadows from Flower Beauty that I talked about in my product fails video but it's hard to think of anything else. All right, I'm gonna try this lipstick. It's the Bare Minerals Gen Nudes, one of my all-time favorite formulas. This is the shade Everything. These are the best smelling liquid lipsticks. I think this is the first, oh, this is the Patton formula. I didn't even realize. Color me surprised. Pretty sure the first liquid lipsticks I ever tried were Bare Minerals. Nope, that's not true. When I was 13, I had a CoverGirl Outlast lipstick and it was brown. So that was actually my first. But yeah, what do you think? Let's go through everything. I thought the Tarte Primer was awesome. The NYX Brow Pencil was fantastic. I'm so impressed. I love that little toothbrush at the end. I think that's going to be a new fad though, especially now that Rihanna did it. I think we're gonna see a lot more toothbrush eyebrow pencils. I'm a big fan of the Urban Decay liners. The shade Voodoo is very pretty. NARS eyeshadow, I really liked it. I would not go out and pay whatever they were charging for this duo full price, but if you think you find a duo that you like for a discount, it's not a bad deal. The Balm Blush, I like. The highlighter palette, I definitely like. Mascara, it's probably the, most, the least exciting thing I tried this video. And then the Bare Mineral, then the Bare Minerals, I enjoy too. So there we have it, the 
community day look is complete. Thank you to everyone who submitted questions. I hope you enjoyed the answers. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.